What is going on guys and girls and welcome to the Be More podcast. Now I'm going to go back in time to February this year and this was about six and a half months ago now was when I first interviewed Mr. Kevin Green on the Be More podcast. It was podcast number eight. We are now on episode 53 I believe. So we've been on a journey with the podcast since then and I've been on a journey as well myself since meeting Kev. I went around there with the intention to try and dig deeper into his motives, what he was doing and with a company and a business that I didn't really understand. And it, well, it's gone full circle. I went there as a hater and as someone who didn't really understand her bloke nutrition to someone who now is quickly progressing through the company. And to be honest, guys, I've never felt healthier or happier and more fulfilled with the opportunity that Kev actually shared with me that day. And he's now almost become like a mentor to me. So yesterday, I was going around there for a meeting anyway, and he said, why don't we do round two of the podcast and try and almost educate people and make them more aware of what it is that we actually do. So that's what we've done today, guys. So I hope you enjoy this episode of the podcast. I would be super grateful for your feedback. So if you have any questions or any feedback for us, then just give us a shout. And yeah, without further ado, a further ado, a further ado enjoy this episode of the podcast, guys. This is the Be More Podcast. I am your host, Jack Williams, and this is a show all about health, nutrition, mindset, and performing at our very best, and this is going to be your catalyst to being more. Okay, good afternoon, guys and girls. We are live on Kevin's and my my own Facebook accounts and on my podcast, so... We are six months into my journey with Herbalife Nutrition. It was six months ago, a few days ago actually, where I was sat in Kevin's kitchen, speaking to him about his business and his success with his own journey. Because I I wanted to interview people who were being more, and Kev blew me away, and he managed to talk me into the business. And six months have gone by, and our responsibility now is to try and teach people to understand more about what we do because it's a massively misunderstood industry, network marketing, Herbalife Nutrition as a company is massively misunderstood as well. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to jump onto Facebook Live and record a podcast as like a round two to give you guys more of an insight into what we actually do because there is a massive misunderstanding about what we do and we want to try and educate you guys and make you realise that why not you, which is what the topic and the title of our Facebook Live is. Why not you? Because we're sat here, obviously people might be able to think, oh, we can't relate to what Jack and Kev are like, when the reality is anyone can do this business and we just want to show people that they can too. So I'm going to try and put Kev basically on the back foot today because I was once a massive skeptic into Herbalife, whereas now obviously I've been on a journey, I've been documenting since where I'm not, but I want to try and put Kev on the back foot with questions that we're both faced with every single day as to why people are still unsure about whether to do it as a business or to use the products at all. So, Kevin, how are you, sir? Great. I just feel like we're, uh, we're on the Jonathan Ross show here. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, look, we just want to um, give a bit of value here. I can see already there's a lot of people who have maybe joined the call. Some are already members. There's a lot of people who just take a look at what we do. I would encourage anybody who's watching this live video, even if it's a, even if you've watched the recording of it, type in replay, and if you've got any questions that um, if you sorry guys, if you get any questions, oh no problem. We'll continue on mine. Yeah, if you get any questions, um, whilst we're just having a chat, then. Ask the questions in the comments because that's what we want to do. We want to answer your questions. Um, For those who uh, maybe don't know anything about my background, um, I was, I left school with no qualifications and I didn't have any real career aspirations. I was on the building site. I was a carpenter, so I had no real skills and joined the armed forces, you know, the armed forces, they obviously, um, they taught me a lot in there, a lot was uh, being cold, and a lot was um, being hungry, and again, not really much of a skill set, 
And it wasn't until five and a half years ago that I just started to use Herbalife products, Herbalife Nutrition, because I saw my best friend getting results in the products. Little, little would I know that I would be living in the house that I live in, driving the car that I drive, um, travelling multiple times, um, I was going to say a year, it's like a month now, um, little, little did I know that fast forward five and a half years, your life can dramatically change. And now, fast forward, a lot of what we do now is educating people why this is the business of the future. Why most companies are actually going to start doing some form of network marketing, uh, some form of um, multi-level marketing. Because what you'll see is a lot of even like little celebrities or even like, let's say, a good-looking girl. A good-looking girl, they will actually get paid by like a, a dress company to wear their dress and put the link in, um, you know, if you like my dress, click on the link and buy the dress that I'm wearing. So there's a lot of people making second incomes this way, but because this is network marketing and multi-level marketing, the company will actually reward you on multiple levels so we just want to educate today and Jack's got some questions to just maybe answer some of the questions that a lot of people don't understand also guys I think Kev's already mentioned if you have questions as well just post them up and we'll try and get through them as well but a lot of people think that where I've been obviously a PT before knowledgeable on nutrition that you have to be that way to be able to run this business and Kev's obviously got a, a background in as a PTR before, so people think, oh, we, we can't do that because we're not like Kevin Jack. But obviously, what's your thoughts on, do you have to be knowledgeable on nutrition to be able to be a herb life distributor? Well, so, I, I thought I was knowledgeable on nutrition and on training because I'm, I'm a former a sports person. And little, little did I really think about it, as much knowledge that I had, I wasn't actually doing the right things. I was starting my day with porridge. Now, I'm not saying porridge is a, a bad breakfast, but what I am saying is your body needs more than just carbohydrates, especially for breakfast. Everybody's starting to become a bit more educated that you need protein. Proteins are really, really important um, nutrient in the body. And I was using porridge thinking that that was like a good choice. And when I started using Herbalife, even though I didn't really know what was in the tub, I started to get results. Now, when people then started maybe asking me some questions about, you know, what's in it, how many grams of protein and all these other things, I started going down the route of thinking I had to be an, an expert. And it wasn't until I started learning more about network marketing. In Herbalife, we have a Nobel Prize winning doctor. I want everybody just to think about that. This is not a doctor. This is a noble prize winning doctor. And this isn't someone who's got a degree in nutrition. This is a noble prize winning doctor. And that's on the same level as Albert Einstein, right? So we are talking Premier League. We are talking Real Madrid, Barcelona type doctor. We're not talking like, you know, Portsmouth or Hibs or Hearts. We are talking like, the best of the best. We are talking the Ronaldo in nutrition is, is working with Herbalife to put these products together. You're also talking about Dr. David Heber and you're talking about 90 plus PhDs who are working with a company putting together these products and making the formulas even better. So now that I understand more about it, I don't need to be an expert in it because... People, every single day, they will promote companies like Nike. They will promote companies like Starbucks. But they're not, they're not experts in coffee and they're not experts in what the best running trainer is. What they do is they'll put their trainer on and they'll think these look nice and these feel good. Or they will drink their Starbucks and go, I enjoy the Starbucks experience. I enjoy the way they make their coffees or their lattes. 
So what do they do? They'll post a picture on their Facebook, they'll post a picture on their Instagram saying, you know, Starbucks time or do you like my new trainers or whatever it is. And it's the same for even things as, as stupid as even like Budweiser. People will put a picture of Budweiser on a Friday and they'll go, chill time. So they're promoting a brand, they're actually promoting Budweiser and they're basically saying, you know, use Budweiser because that's why they're putting the picture there. But they are not an expert in beer. They are not an expert in alcohol. They are not an expert in what's, what tastes better, Budweiser or Carlsberg. They just prefer a certain brand. With Herbalife, it's the same. We are not nutritional experts because do you really know anybody who is a nutritional expert? The answer is no. They think they know what they're talking about, but they don't. And they're not noble prize winning doctors. So all we do in the company is we use a product that we like. We enjoy the way the company treat us as in... Um, Promotions, bigger discounts, um, bonuses, free holidays, royalties, we enjoy that. So what do we do? We promote that brand and we promote that company because we know the product is better than what you're going to buy in um, Asda, what you're going to buy in Tesco. It's just better. It's, it's a fact. So you don't need to be an expert. Good answer. Now, I know I'm interviewing you, but I came around here six months ago with the I'm an evidence-based nutrition coach, so I'm going to try and make Kev look inferior because I believe that my way is better than Kev's. Mm -hmm. And I've listened back to the podcast today, and I thought, well, I was a done nut because I've been to, obviously, the big meetings. I've seen how good these products are from my own experience. And like my results, I used to be that person who used to be tracking calories every single day, I would track how many grams of protein I would eat, and it would make me miserable, it would make me bingy, it would not even give me the results that I'm getting now, I don't do any of them things anymore. So it just shows you like the power is in these products, and I was sat here six months ago thinking, this bloke speaking a load of waffle, and it wasn't until I actually tried the products that I actually realised that he, what he was saying is completely true, and despite the fact that he's not the most clued up on nutrition, that he knows his fair share, he knows enough. But it isn't about that, it's about he trusts the scientists that are putting together these products and all he's doing is he's trying to impact the community in a positive way via network marketing, which is by helping other people get results and then helping their friends and family, which is how we are going to try and, that's how we solve the obesity crisis because it isn't going to happen from a few PTs or nutritionists who have got a great knowledge because they can only help so many people, right? Whereas through network marketing, we can help more people just to get results and feel better, and then when, once they inspire their friends and families to do the same, that's the power we've got now with network marketing that I never used to understand before. Like I remember quizzing Kev on this builder that he mentioned, thinking this builder sounds like he shouldn't be doing what he's doing, whereas now I realise that people like that are just trying to do a good thing in the community, which is what people need to open their minds to realise because we have our hands on something that can make a real positive impact, which is what we're trying to do today with this podcast. Um, and hopefully you're getting the value from it as well. So people think as well you have to be a good salesperson. <clears throat> Do you feel like you have to be a good salesperson? Because I'm awful at selling. And um, what would your opinion be for, or what would you say to people who are like, I can't sell things, or I don't want to appear to be the sales guy on social media. What would you say to that? So, um, right, so... I think, I think everybody's going to agree that probably, not, not probably, is the most important thing in somebody's life is their health. So if something improves your health or dramatically improves your health and it makes you feel better and it makes you look better, why would you not want to promote it? Because people are quite happy to promote a good film that they've seen. Uh, you know, they'll go to the cinema and then they'll come out of the cinema and they're going to promote, i.e. sell that movie to their friends and family. And, and through word of mouth, they're going to tell every one of their friends for the next fortnight. They'll go, you need to see The Greatest Showman. It's, a, it's an amazing film. It made me cry. So that is promoting. That is selling. For people who think uh, you need to be a salesman or anything like this. And by the way, this is just... 
um, five and a half year, years through the journey, everybody sells. You sold yourself to your husband, you sold yourself to your wife when you told them or you promised them that by getting with you, they were getting the best. You know, that's a sale. For, a, for me, when I was in the armed forces, I was selling myself to my boss every day because I was trying to show my boss that I was one of the best employees every day, hoping that I would get a, a, like a, a promotion that would give me a pay rise. So everybody, everybody sells, okay? With Herbalife, it is no different. Apart from it is not a sale, it's actually paying something forward because if you actually really, really feel the benefits of, of something, why would you not then want to tell your mum? Are you selling to your mum or are you sharing with your mum? Because it's not selling. My first customer was my mum. Sorry, it was Sarah and then it was my mum. I was not selling to my wife and I was not selling to my mum. I was saying to them, you should use these products because I feel amazing and so would you. So as far as being a salesperson is concerned, you need to understand that everybody, every single day, they are doing some form of sales, whether they're selling themselves to their new boyfriend, when they take them out for a date and they take them to a nice restaurant and they get themselves dressed up, they are selling. Or whether it's you trying to look your best and be your best for your boss, that is a sale. Uh, from Herbalife, from what I can see is, all we do, we don't sell. We share, so we share results. So I was sharing my own results. Guys, I'm 40 and a half years old. I'm in better shape now than what I was when I was 25. I share my own results. And if I get results in what I do with the business opportunity, I'd simply share that with other people as well. Because if I feel the benefits from it, why would you not want to promote it and share it to other people? More importantly, to my friends and family. So um, I think, I'm hoping that that answered the question on sales. So you don't need to be a salesman. I've not been to sales school. I was on a building site, then I joined the armed forces. Nobody has once um, taught me any sales techniques. There is no techniques to learn. This is simply using a product, feeling the benefits, sharing, sharing, then teaching. And if you can teach other people to do it, then the company are going to reward you through royalties. And guys, if you actually think, is it possible to double your income? The answer is yes. Is it possible to quadruple your income? Yes. How do you do it? Well, the more people you help, the more money you make. Is it possible to 10 times your income? I am telling you it is. If anybody sees my lifestyle, you can 10 times your income, but you can, have actually, you can actually have more freedom with it because in network marketing and multi-level marketing, you're being um, rewarded on multiple levels. Now this is why, and I'm going to just try and show you with my fingers, this is why I know what we do works. So we help people one person at a time. You don't need to overthink this, it's one person at a time. So if I have one person, this person here, called Peter, and Peter starts using the products and feeling the benefits, then Peter probably has somebody, his dad, who might be a little bit overweight or maybe looking for a little bit more energy or who doesn't have time to have breakfast. So Peter gets his dad on the products, Paul. So because he's now shared that, he's not sold that, he shared it with his dad. Do you know what seems to happen, guys? Not only is he feeling the benefits himself, because he's helping his dad and his dad's getting the results, this changes other people's psychology. Because what you need to know is, guys, if you want to be happy for a day, go fishing. If you want to be happy for a week, go on holiday. If you want to be happy for a year, inherit a million pound. See, after a year with a million pound, guys, you would be bored. You would, you would not be happy inside. The only way that you can actually be happy forever is when you find a way of helping other people. 
That's when people get true happiness. So Peter now has more happiness because he's helped his dad, Paul. So what do we do here? Paul gets the results. He now gets his wife, Pamela, on the products. So what have we done there, guys? This has now created multiple levels of people being positively impacted through good nutrition. What will the company do? They will reward royalties on all three levels. And the good thing that people need to understand as well is, on these three levels, there is no money being earned of any one of these people. Herbalife, the company, which is like a satellite, Herbalife can see that there are people being, there are people using the products. Most of these guys are getting a, um, like a discount on the products if these guys um, choose to become a Herbalife member to get their products at a discounted rate. But because of this, Herbalife then start rewarding the person who started the ripple effect. So the person is not making any money from these people. Herbalife are just paying a direct income to the person who actually started the ripple effect. Did, did that, that makes sense, that makes sense. I think what we're trying to say is the power is in the company and what we do. So the power is in the products. So you're previously probably thinking like I used to, like I used to use supplements and I didn't really feel an effect on it. So in order for me to promote it, it wouldn't be authentic or I wouldn't have integrity. Whereas the minute I got on the products within two weeks, I just felt unbelievable. Therefore I could share it. Whereas if I didn't feel results, I wouldn't be able to share it. And the same with the business. The business, we're sat now in Kev's living room at half past one on a Tuesday afternoon. How many people are, have the opportunity to do that? Well, we have time freedom. We feel it, it is our duty to share time freedom with people because mm. we know people are in a position where they're overworked, they're underpaid, they're not very happy in what they're doing. Mental health is worse than ever. Like obesity is worse than ever. We can help with these things with our vehicle. Like we found the vehicle and we want to share it with people. So when people think, oh, you're being that sales guy just by putting polls on Instagram or talking to people, you have no idea what we can see. And we're just trying to help you people, you to see what we're doing, which is we're, we're taught to almost be like, we need to open your eyes to, to let the blind people see what we can see. And that's all we are doing. It isn't like a sales company. It's a, we want to share how we feel from the products because it makes us feel amazing and from the business opportunity because it gives us a lifestyle that, we never once imagined possible. Yeah, so guys, um, do you know what? This is the business of the future, right? Um, the NHS are crippled um, because of diabetes, you know, overweight, people with depression, all sorts of health-related um, problems, okay? Now, we know a doctor, a little doctor in the local uh, health centre, he's not going to solve the problem. It's going to take a, a network of people who can all do simple basic things and teach simple basic things. And this is why this works. And I want everybody to understand this. When I was showing you the, uh, the diagram with the fingers, that's exactly what's happened here. So, um, you know, I met a guy called Simon Hill. Simon is an estate agent who was carrying a bit too many pounds around his belly and we were like, right Simon, let's get on these products. Now Simon started using the products on and off. Um, he would probably put his hand up. He wasn't really serious on the products because at that point in his life, he just wasn't ready to get serious on the products. But I understood that Simon would know other people who we could help just in his little network of people and because of that, in Simon's network was Jack. So then you've got here, so now Simon, he's using the products and his wife has lost, I don't know what his wife's results are. It's like a couple of stone, I think. A couple of stone, right? And by the way, Simon's not really even engaged in what we do. Simon, but his wife's getting great results and so is he, then shows Jack the opportunity. Jack, then, his first customer was his mum. How much weight has your mum lost? Two stone. Two stone, okay? His mum now knows people who she's helping. This, this thing starts going down seven, eight levels deep already 
and Jack has only been really engaged in the business for five or six months. Now, because of that, I'm just showing you one sort of line, if you like. One person knew one person knew one person knew one person. But can you imagine if somebody like Jack goes, you know what? I know at least 15 people who would like to take a look at this opportunity and I know I can teach people. If Jack teaches, say, 10 people and they teach, say, five people each and everybody's got about five friends and family using the products, well, that basically generates and that's now impacting about... 350 people. So there's 350 people now being impacted through Jack and his organization's network. 350 people all being helped. They've all got somebody who's teaching them to use the products, teaching them like the importance of um, drinking water. Some people don't understand the importance of that or drinking two litres of water or snacking. And we do this on in an online community and we take it offline as well. So we we bring communities of like-minded people, positive people together. Why? Because if you ask me, guys, in today's society, there is a lot of negativity, especially on that crap on the telly. And what we do is we bring people together and we want to, we want to fill people up with positivity. Why? Because we're all on this planet once. And if, if one person can teach five other people to do it, why could we not make a, a more positive impact? Because the government's not going to do it. It's going to take people. It's going to take people. It's not going to take one person. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, I know I'm just doing it on my fingers, but guys, that's the way it works. It's one person knows one person knows one person. And because of that, Five and a half years uh, down the line, um, we are now helping three and a half thousand people every day. Three and a half thousand people every day are getting better nutrition into their bodies. They're getting supported by somebody else because everybody needs somebody else. You can't do this. You can't get through life on your own. Everybody needs somebody else. So they've all got somebody else. Um... It's just a really, really exciting, it's a really, really exciting time because there is a drastic need for like-minded people who are watching this thinking, my job's not, my job doesn't want me to get out of bed early. My job doesn't inspire me. On a Wednesday, I am looking forward to a Friday. And if that's, if that's people watching this and maybe even members who are like, they're just starting their journey, I would say find the passion to then go, do you know what? I want to show more people this opportunity because there are 70 to 80% of people out there who are not getting paid enough from their jobs. They are working too many hours, and when I say too many hours, they've not got enough spare hours to do things that they want, like taking their children to school, like working out when they want to work out, like reading a book when they want to read the book during the day, um, like going out for lunch with a partner. People haven't got the time because your boss, your employer are not designing your life. This is a company where we teach people how to design their own life and their own lifestyle and we can deliver on all three. If you're looking for a life of style, guys, you need three things, it's so simple. You need health, most important thing. You need, you need your health, guys. And we are teaching people to be healthier. Secondly, you need time. Because no matter what you're doing, if you've not got any spare time, you have not got a, a life of style. And if you've got the time, what do you need? You need money. Because you want to be able to do nice things. And as much as... In society, we don't like talking about money or the importance of money. Money is important. It comes second to oxygen. Because without, without it, you can't do much without money. Like holidays with your family. Like nice meals. Like buying yourself nice clothes or whatever it is. Love it. And I'll just add on to the community thing there. Like When I first got involved with Herbalife, 
I didn't really understand the whole community thing. And I used to think it's a cult and I don't really want to be part of a cult. And I got added into a few Facebook groups when I joined. And I even said to my sponsor, I was like, do I have to be in these? Like, I don't really want to be in them. And um, I stayed in them anyway. And to give you guys an, an insight into how the, the community and the company has developed me as a person, like you get recognition for doing well, like something you'll never get in normal life. Like I thought I was quite a happy kid before I started Herbalife. This made me realize like how much happier this company's actually made me. And I, I was the most closed-minded, skeptical person before I got involved with the company. So put it this way, in the last two meetings, like we get a meeting like once every month on a Sunday. At first I thought to myself, I'm not gonna go to them because I, I like watching football on Sundays. I don't really need to go to them. In the last two meetings, I've been recognized for the impact that I'm having in the community. And I've cried at both meetings. Like I could never imagine me doing that. And it was about four months ago, I was in the sea with Kev and he was saying, recognition is really important, Jack. Babies cry for it and men die for it. And I, I got it, but I didn't really get it to the point where I get it now. And we live in, we live and breathe in a company where, in a community where we are constantly being recognized and we constantly recognize people. And that makes you feel good as a person because you feel valued. And you, when you can value other people as well, make them feel good, that makes you feel good. So like, yeah, I would open your mind and just, just think how different my life could possibly be by joining the cult because people think oh, it's that cult to be and I'm like, yeah, but you're not happy in your life. Mm. And insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And that's what my life has just become. And I've just did the same thing over and over, expecting a different result and it never come. And it wasn't until, for whatever reason, that I ended up in Kev's house and I've just gone through the steps that I have since I've been here and been coachable and listened to what he told me to do, that I've managed to get to the position that I'm in now. And I'm just excited every single day when I wake up. So I'm supposed to be interviewing Kev and putting him on the back foot, but I just wanted to add on to that because I want to give you guys as much value to understand yeah, what we do. It's good, mate. I mean, when you talk, I'm glad you said that about the recognition. Um, I can remember, you know, five and a half years ago, being recognised for making a level in the marketing plan qualified producer, which, which at that point I was probably helping about eight customers, eight, you know, I had eight friends and family using the products and getting up there on the stage in front of 200 people, I was like, wow, I was so nervous, um, I didn't really know what to say or how to say it, but it was a good feeling. And the more and more I started like progressing through the different, and by you get recognised for every tiny step in the company. And the more and more I was like moving through these steps and then understanding how nice it was to be recognised for myself, then I understood, well, if it's important for me, I want to recognise other people for, other step, uh, for their little steps. And again, this is how we are shaping people because... We don't get taught this in school and employers and big companies, they actually, they are forgetting that people, it's people power. This is people power. So we understand if you recognise people for small steps and bigger steps, I mean, Jack now doesn't get recognised on a stage and gets asked his name. Jack gets recognised now financially and has just been recognised by the company that he's getting paid to go on a free cruise, five-star cruise. I do not know any other company that would recognise you in that way. He will also be officially recognised on stage in front of 2,500 people in January and he'll be officially recognised in front of 20,000 people in Cologne in Germany. I don't know any other company that would recognise somebody's efforts on that type of level and we've not even discussed income yet we've not even discussed it we're saying recognition in front of your teammates because it's not just one team it's a it's a group of like-minded people who are trying to break away from the 95 and they're, and they're looking for a way of living a life with purpose so when you're being recognized in front of like-minded people that that means more than any other recognition that I've had. And you're speaking to somebody who, I was a Scottish champion uh, in boxing. I was a combined services champion. 
you know, I was a Royal Marines commando um, and obviously was recognised for um, doing things for my country. There is no other recognition like what you get with this company. There is nothing else. People are like, Kev, do you miss the armed forces? I'm like, no, not one tiny bit because there is more of a brotherhood and community. And if you can't get your head around it, no problem. But it's the truth. There is more of a community and a brotherhood in this company and not just in your own team. Outside, of my best pals are part of this company because we are, we are really, really, we really do believe we can make a positive impact, not just in our country. We, we believe we can make a positive Im impact worldwide. We really do believe we can do it. We are not relying on the NHS. We're not relying on doctors. We're not relying on this miracle cure. We're not relying on the government to fix the state of the, the economy. We are taking ownership of ourselves. So we are like soldiers going into battle to go, do you know what? We can make the impact that everybody else is waiting for. Everybody else is waiting for Theresa May or people are waiting for this magic pill to help people feel good. It ain't going to happen. It needs average people, because all you need to be is an average person, an average person who's teachable with a little bit of hunger and trust. Trust, trust the process. That's all you need to have. And if you've got three of those things, you're going to go a long way because this is a company that's been going for 38 years. It's a well-trodden path. All you do is you follow. It's a well-trodden path where there is a president's team member um, being recognised every three days worldwide. So this, this thing is going and this will be a $10 billion company within the next one or two years. And if people think that you maybe got in at the wrong time, or they think I've missed the boat, or whatever else it is, I'll reassure you on this, there are 40,000 people in the UK uh, using Herbalife products, 40,000. So if you have a Man United game, half of the crowd are on Herbalife, the other half aren't, and everybody outside the crowd in the UK are not using the products. And um, five and a half years ago, the country was in a better shape. There are now more people who are overweight, underpaid, undervalued at work, um, lacking energy, um, their diets are worse. Why? Because the food industry, five and a half years later, are rising up to the fact that if they put more sugar, fat and salt into their products, humans will buy more. Why? Because it tastes better. They're not looking at the ingredients. They're buying it because it tastes good. Not understanding... They're filling their bodies with junk, sugar, fat and salt. They're the cheapest ingredients, yet they are the tastiest. And of course, guys, we all like sugar, fat and salt, but all the food, that, all these food companies, they don't care about the state of the nation's health. Uh, health. They care about that. We need, we need like-minded people, average people, hungry, driven who, who are looking for more in their lives, who want to live a life with purpose. Love it. We have got a lot more questions that we're going to rattle through quicker just because we are taking about half an hour per question. But Sorry. let's just go, no, that's cool. We're just going to go through quick. Like People have this misconception that all we do is drink shakes, we don't eat food. Mm, Me and you are right. massive foodies, so we eat four or five times a day, both of us. Yeah. So like that, that is false. All we do is change people's breakfast. And we live in a country where half of the country skip it, or like like Kev had before, a carb heavy breakfast, or like myself, I was skipping it because I didn't have time. Whereas having a smoothie and setting up your day in the right way is just a positive start to your day, and it gets like good nutrition in your body with low calories, which is the secret. It's cal nutritionally dense and low in calories, which is ideal for every single person. Whether your goals is fat loss, muscle gain, because you don't want to be putting rubbish into your body. Agreed? Anything you want to add on to that? Yeah, I just want to add on that. You see some PTs, okay, and some influencers who talk about, yeah, calorie deficit, blah, blah, blah. 
I agree, yeah. And they talk about, it doesn't matter about breakfast and blah, blah, blah. Well, the name gives it away. Break fast. And guys, make your own mind up about this. If your body is far more complex than a car, if you want to go on a long journey in your car, the first thing you want to think about is, have I got enough fuel in my car to fuel the journey? Because if you've not got fuel in the car at the start of the journey, you're going to run out of steam. So, the importance of breakfast. The importance of breakfast is, you need to start your day with a balanced meal. Now, people don't want to have broccoli and chicken for their breakfast, sorry. And most people are starting their day with cereal. And cereal, when you put milk in there, is basically sugar. You might as well have sweets for breakfast. And if you don't believe me, the next time you look on your milk, skimmed, semi-skimmed or full fat, they're all, they've all loaded with lactose sugar, okay? So with Herbalife, you're going to quarter the sugar, you're going to pack it with protein, you're going to pack it with 23 plus vitamins and minerals, and it takes 20 seconds to blend, and if you're greedy like me, it takes about 20 seconds to drink. It gives you your, your body everything it's designed Everything it wants, everything it needs. Going back to Jack's thing, all these people do is drink shakes. Well, I eat more now than what I ever have done. Why? Because I eat better. That's probably an important fact. I do eat better. Why? Because I'm not carbon the whole day. If you're carbon all day every day, your body automatically wants more carbohydrates because in simple terms, it's sugar. And so now... I have a lot more balance, but I eat more. And because I now started my day with a, a protein-rich breakfast, I now have a higher uh, muscle, uh, I have now more muscle mass, which then makes me able to burn more calories. So I eat more now, eat more now than what I ever have done. People are like, I like food too much. And I... I cannot even answer that seriously. I go, I hate food. I like fresh air. Fresh air is my favourite meal. How can you take that seriously? As if you think that you don't like food. Food is one of the best luxuries a human being. I love cake. I love takeaways. I love Nando's. I love chippies. I just choose to live a balanced lifestyle now. And I think to, to add on to that, I think the greatest addition that I've had from her life into my diet is fibre. Mm. So I used to be a binge eater. And we live in a world where I don't think it's due to constant overeating that we're obesity is the problem. I think it's from binging. For most people, it's emotional eating or it's being in from work in the evening and just eating until you go to bed. And it's just what people do. And I'll chat to people and I'm like, oh, what are you doing with regards to your fat loss? What diet are you doing at the moment? And they'll be like, I don't actually eat that much, Jack. You'd be surprised. I'm like, really? Because you're in a position where you're three or four stone overweight. You must be putting away some kind of excess of calories from some point. But it's from binging normally. Whereas from increasing the amount of fiber in my diet, from someone who used to be a binger, I literally can't physically binge anymore because I'll eat a meal that would be bigger than I typically normally would, right? Or like, or it would be like a bad meal and it'll just fill me up. Whereas before, I could keep going and go in and go like if I went to a pizza up buffet for example I could put away about four pizzas before whereas now I'd have one and I'd be done in my, my, the fibre would make me feel fuller quicker so it's the, uh, everyone is lacking in fibre in their diet so even if you're just supplementing it it's just clever people supplement their diet because they realise they can't get it from food and on an average the, the average person needs between 30 and 35 grams of fibre per day and I can assure you that most people are listening to this live are not getting that and that is a massive health supplement that you can improve just by having it in your shake for breakfast. It gives you what you need. We use another product called Apple Fiber as well. And it's been the greatest supplement that I've ever used because it enables me to keep my calories lower. Therefore, I stay lean all year round rather than going in and out of shape like I used to. And I can't binge anymore because I physically can't. So if you're someone listening to this thinking, do you know what, I'm a binger or I suffer from bloating, this is the product for you, trust me. Yeah. Um, Cool. So, 
people think I haven't got time to run the business. Yeah, I mean, so people say, hey, I've not got time to do what you do or whatever it is. So what can I say? Well, first and foremost, if you're watching this and you're obviously, you're obviously watching it because you're intrigued. So there must be a reason why you are um, watching because you're probably thinking, well, I'm hoping that you're thinking, I don't want to be in this job for the rest of my life or I don't want to be working for a boss for the rest of my life. My first question is, you need to change something because if you don't, five years will pass. Five years are going to pass. And whether it's in this job now or in five years later and you're still in the job or we have a plan where you can start this year and in five years' time, your life will be completely transformed. My life is completely different. It took me three years. Three years to become a president team member in Herbalife. So when it comes to say, let's say, um, time. Now, I would say, if somebody was quite serious, I would say, do you think you could find one hour a day to invest into learning? Into, yeah, learning. Learning. Now, 20 minutes of that might be listening to an audio, maybe when you're driving a car. 20 minutes of it might be um, chatting to your sponsor, whoever's, uh, whoever's teaching you how to do the business. And another 20 minutes might be um, helping other people, showing other people the opportunity, whatever it is. Do you think you could find an hour a day? Well, guys, most people spend at least half an hour watching people on Instagram, watching the news, reading a newspaper, and none of them are creating value in their life, and none of them are going to create change. So the answer is, if they want it big enough, then they can find an hour a day. So there's an hour a day. Now, let's just say it took one year and you found five people who said, we want to do what you're doing. We don't like what we're doing. We want to learn this, this um, thing that we didn't get taught at school. Network marketing. Well, this is you here and you've got five friends here. Five. And they're all doing an hour a day. Well, if you're doing an hour and they're doing an hour, you've now got this business that generates six hours a day. How many hours are you doing? One. Now, imagine one year later, your five guys, they've taught five people. One hour plus five equals six, plus these guys down here, Five, 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 five. That now generates 31 hours a day. People wonder why now I work probably about four hours a day, but my business generates about £10,000 a day. And Herbalife pay me royalties on that. I don't earn £10,000 a day. Herbalife pay me royalties on that. I don't earn any money off anybody. Herbalife pay me royalties. But if you think about that, one teach five, teach five, generates 31 hours a day. And all you're doing is one hour a day. So when it comes to the time aspect, everybody's got the time. You know, when I started, I didn't have any real spare capacity. So what I did was I got out of bed one hour early. So instead of getting out of bed at half past six, I got out of bed at half past five. I found the extra hour. And guys, within one year, my life had transformed so much, I was out of the job. I was now my own boss. I was now able to put my kids into private school. So the point is, was it worth finding the hour? And I was consistent, and then I started teaching other people to do it as well. Um, so I'm just trying to think, does that, does that answer the question? I mean, guys, <coughs> this is going to pay more uh, off in value to yourself, to other people. Um, it's going to give you more time. It's going to give you more income than a degree. People go to college, people go to university, and after four years, they come out and they're struggling to get a job. And if they do get a job, they're looking at 30 to 50 grand a year. 
I would add on to that. You need to try and find that hour because it isn't just about you either. It's not only about the people you could be impacting, but like outside of your circle, but within your circle. Like imagine if Kev didn't make the decision to choose that hour, not only would he not be impacting three and a half thousand people every single day with their health, mm. but his three kids wouldn't have the life they've got now, nor would his wife. So directly his family and indirectly, if he didn't make the decision to use that hour in a wise way five and a half years ago, imagine how different his life would be right now. And other people's. And other people's. Directly and direct, in, and indirectly. Which, like, it's not about you. Yeah. Like, imagine some people on the school like, listening through my Facebook. We're like, my age, maybe millennials, haven't got kids yet. You will do one day. And the decisions you make now will be, dictate what their life's like in the future. So don't be selfish. Like, it's not about you. But it will give you everything you possibly want. Because the minute you understand that if you can give enough people what they want, you'll get everything that you want. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people on the call who might think, can I do it? Can I not do it? Have I got the time? Have I not got the time? As Jack said, it's not about you. Can you imagine if you sponsored somebody like me and Sarah who were hungry, who were driven, who wanted an opportunity, who believed in the products, who trusted? Or if you find somebody like Jack who is in need, who wants to find a vehicle where he really can make a bigger impact than just himself. That's what it's all about. It's about who do you know? Who really does want this opportunity? Because for a lot of people on the call, you might feel like there's not a big need, but you just might find somebody where there is a big need and the company again, they will pay you exactly what you're worth by introducing somebody and giving somebody else that chance. Awesome. Another common objection is people think they need to be in great shape to run this business. Mm. What's your thoughts on that? Brilliant. Well, uh, the first thing that I'll say on it, and I've been talking about this lady for a long time, the newest president's team member in Herbalife is actually, she started the business 64 years old. She was overweight and her daughter was a Herbalife member and her daughter was saying, Mum, you really need to try these products. And she said, I don't need these products, blah, blah, blah. One year later, she started using the product. 64 years old, she started. And because of her own results and her own transformation, she decided to become a member. And um, she knew this was not about how good she looked or how good she spoke or... It wasn't about her. It was about who did she know. So she started to help other people and show other people what the opportunity was like. And fast forward, this lady is now the newest president's team member in Herbalife because she's an older woman, so what? Does she know younger people who are more enthusiastic or who have got more energy or who have got a bigger circle of friends and family? Of course. So... Do you need to be in shape? Well, I actually think this. I think it's actually harder for somebody like Jack to actually build and share this these products and opportunity because Jack, when he came to me, he was in good shape. I knew I could help him get a result because I knew I could help his vitality, his energy and his health because I knew even though he was in good shape, eh, shape, sorry, he wasn't getting as much nutrition as what I was because I was using clever supplementation. I'm 40 years old and I use clever supplements like fibre, like uh, green tea, like B vitamins. So I use clever supplementation and that's why I am full of energy and health. So, but going back to it, people would go, Jack, you were in shape before. So Jack's got that hurdle to overcome. If somebody thinks, oh, you need to be in shape, you don't. It actually helps if you're out of shape. It, it could actually work in your favour because then you could be the person of change, the person who says, do you know what? This is how I was. This is how I am. You can do it too. This is how I used to look. This is how I used to feel. This is 
I can help you do it too. If I can do it, you can do it too. That's exactly, it's like, the actual, the products are the exact same as the business. You don't need money to join the business. It's like, if I can do it, and I started off in £28,000 worth in debt, you can do this too. And it's the same with the products. So actually, it works in your favour. If you're not in the best shape, these products, if you stick to them, you're going to get results. I just got a Royal Marines commando on the products, my old friend, and he wasn't even, you wouldn't look at him and think, oh, he's overweight. He got on the products, he's been in the products for, um, in fact, I'm not even allowed to say, because um, people say it's the legal, you can only legally lose £2 a week, I think that's what the, what people say. My pal has been in the products a short period of time and has lost £25. Buzzing on the products, he's got his wife on the products, his stepdaughter and a couple of friends from work and has moved up to the first level on the marketing plan, got himself a 10% pay rise, has been recognised at a meeting and is massively excited about his future and everybody else's future who he's now helping. Awesome. But yeah, I agree. People think, oh, it's easy for you, Jack, because you're in shape. It actually makes it harder. So if you're listening to this thinking, I'm not like you, that's actually a benefit for you. Although I would say, because people, the products do the work for you. People you people will notice that you look different. And people notice that I'm happier. That's mainly, they say, why are you so much happier? And I, I actually then talk to them about what I'm doing now. So people normally, you haven't got to sell anything. People will notice if you are sticking to the products and if you are being, just doing as we said say to do, then you will find business just by walking around and do, living your general life anyway. You haven't got to be a sales guy. Um, happy. You don't want to look like a salesman. We've already answered that before. People think it's a pyramid scheme. Mm. So we're both good examples of that, I think. Mm. Both of us out earn our sponsors, so that isn't the case. So do you want to quickly explain how it isn't a pyramid scheme? Well, I think Jack just really described it really well. We both earn... Um, more royalties than the people who introduced both of us to the business. And by the way, we are both grateful to our sponsors for showing us what this was all about. But simply because we have helped um, show, teach, help other people with products, with the opportunity by teaching other people, the company just automatically reward us more. So, pyramid schemes, by the way, a lot of people don't really understand this. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Pyramid schemes are no products. People put money into a pyramid scheme, hoping for other people to put money in, and then you extract the money. Pyramid schemes are illegal. I think they've been illegal for 30 years. I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo would be sponsored by an illegal, an illegal scheme. It's not a scheme. It's... A good way of describing this, guys, is it's like owning your own franchise. You are independent. Jack is independent. I am an independent member. We work in, we work together as a team, but we have independent businesses. Jack, he builds his business different from me. He's a different person. I build my, diff my business different from my sponsor, Jim, my best pal. I'm forever grateful that he opened my eyes, that he said, Kev, you need to try these products, they're amazing. I told him no five times. And then when I started getting results and people started asking me, he said, Kev, you need to take a look at the opportunity. I told him no two or three times. Why? Because the meeting was on a Saturday and I didn't want to give up my spare time. Thankfully, I went and it totally changed the way that I understood what Herbalife was all about. So, in terms of being a pyramid, again I'll go back and say it, pyramid schemes are illegal, Herbalife works on, we use the world's best nutritional products, sports products, skin and hair range, energy, healthy breakfast, weight loss and weight gain. We use the products as a vehicle to make an impact 
as independent business owners. And the more people you help directly and independent, uh, directly and ind uh, indirectly, the more money the company will reward you. There is no pyramid. By the way, uh, for people who happy, for people who don't understand it and still don't, I would uh, say look at your own job. Look at your own job and think about the way it's structured. 99% of jobs are pyramid schemes. You know, I was talking to a hairdresser earlier today, good guy. He's been a hairdresser for 17 years and probably earns three to four thousand pounds a month. That's a pyramid. That is a scam. 17 years of doing the same job and after 17 years being paid that amount of money. That, that conventional way, if you ask me, is the scam. Whereas in Herbalife, you choose exactly how far you want to move. You don't need to ask the boss for the pay rise. You go out and you help more people and the company will reward you with more royalties. You know, you've all got a structure where you start as the assistant, you become the assistant manager, then you become the manager, then you become the, the area manager, then you become the CEO or whatever it is. But in most cases, you can't get much further up the so-called pyramid for your company because you're probably, you're probably, your face doesn't fit, you're maybe not educated enough. In Herbalife, it doesn't matter about your education, it doesn't matter if your face doesn't fit, it doesn't matter if you're short, Scottish, living in England, it does not matter. You answered that very, very well. And people have all even warned me saying, and my girlfriend who's just gone full time in the business as well, saying you shouldn't do that business, Jack or Robin, because that's the scam. And we are living a life we're happier than we've ever been before. So I don't think we're in a scam. Like we're excited about our future. If it is a scam, I'll happily pay more to buy into it because we feel great. So just honestly, guys, open your mind because me and Robin, we were closed minded to have life before. We didn't understand it. We thought it was a scam. But now it's completely changed our lives, completely. So if you're a little bit intrigued, I would encourage you to speak to me or Kev about the opportunity because it is incredible. And we're gonna close on a few more points, um, opinions of people. So people are worried about mm. have people having an opinion of them because they're doing something different. Yeah. What would your um, advice be for that? Because obviously I, I probably now have overtaken you as the most hated person for my Herbalife business. Mm. So what would your advice be for people who have opinions? Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one because a lot of people with strong opinions on what we do, I feel, I feel a little bit sorry for these people because number one, they're getting left behind. They're getting left behind and they're going to wonder why they're going to be banging their heads off walls in five, ten years time thinking we should have joined at that time. At that time where, you know, obesity was on the rise and people who are not getting paid enough. Everything's, we are in the perfect place at the perfect time. So when it comes to people with opinion, the problem is every part of the opinion is false. So some people go, oh, the products are full of sugar. Are they? Let's have a look at the tub. Let's have a look at um, what we use. And then you go, all oh, right, yeah, there's actually less sugar in the shake than what there is in an apple. Great. What's the next thing you don't like? Um, well, I don't want to live on a shake diet. Great. We don't either. Right. Oh, oh I don't want to um, go to the meetings. Don't go to the meetings. It's your own business. Or uh, I don't want people earning money off me. I don't want people earning money off me either. I don't want people... Is, um, the products are expensive. The products are expensive, happy. People will go to a Starbucks, they'll spend £3.50 on a latte and the latte's probably got 400 calories in it, nothing else apart from sugar and caffeine in it. But nobody goes, Starbucks is a scam or nobody says, stop going to Starbucks, they are outrageous. Nobody says that because it's small independent members. So going back to the opinion thing, look guys, I want to educate people. 
um, especially for maybe the ones who are watching from the outside, your opinions are cheap. Opinions are cheap. They're unfounded. You've not got any idea. And if you did have some, like, half a brain, you would do what Jack did. Jack had the opinion. Jack had the opinion of, he knew what Herbalife was. He knew it was a scam. He knew the products were crap. But Jack had the brains to go, do you know what? I do want to find out what it is all about. And once he got the information, which 90% of people, they, they come round to it, but it takes them a long time. He decided to get the information. So if people's opinions are cheap. You know, people go, oh yeah, I've heard about the products. You go, what have you heard about the products? Well, I've heard the products are bad for you. You go, brilliant, great. Yeah, they're really bad for you. Anyway, who told you that they were bad for you? Oh, my dad. Oh, is that your dad who's got a beer belly? Bang. Oh, some, my manager at work. Brilliant. Where do you work again? Next. Oh, right, so you're selling shorts and pants and trousers. And your manager said that from next. The, the information is like Chinese whispers. And someone just takes the information on and that's the picture that they've got. Not really understanding they should really get better information. You know, I see so many people go, um, oh, these these people selling powders, blah, 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 or whatever they say. And then two days later, they post a picture of having a post-workout smoothie. And I'm like, you're just doing what we're doing. Or they'll post a picture on a Saturday night of a a vodka and Red Bull and I go, great, brilliant. So it's, it's crazy, people will promote a happy meal and then when somebody wants to embark on living a healthier life and making a positive impact, people have opinion. Guys, opinions are cheap and people's opinions um, change when you show them the success because we do not sell anything, we show results, you know, Jack's business is a direct result. It's a direct result. It's, we are proving people this thing works. His organisation is helping 350 people. I don't know anybody else out there who's helping 350 people directly and independently, directly and indirectly after six months. Like that. No overheads by, by using a scientific a scientific backed product there is nothing else out there we have results i had on that as well so one of my first haters or criticized somebody who criticized what i was doing was my dad he didn't understand it so he was like what are you doing that rubbish for and um a few it took him like a few months to come around and i went around and i said dad i really want to help you you are overweight you are probably at a risk of heart attack and your dad is now going through diabetes, strokes, etc. as a result of his lifestyle. I don't want you to go down the same route. He finally bit the bullet from seeing how like poorly his dad was and got on the products. He's now two stone like this. That's one example of how we can help someone who is a hater anyway. And another example is I have haters who are in the fitness industry, right? So these people are very closed minded and difficult to change, but I don't want to change their mind. Well, I, 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 I want to help them as much as anyone else, but at the same time, I just want people to be on a level playing field that we're all in the industry and we're all in this to try and help people. And not everyone has to agree with Herbalife. I'm not trying to say you should agree with it. What I'm trying to say is what you're doing is great as long as you are giving people value and results because that's all we're doing as well. And I don't want to preach to you to say you should do Herbalife. I just want everyone to get on because life is too short to have hate. But even if you are going to continue to hate on what we are doing, it just shows that you are small-minded, and at the end of the day, there's never ever been a statue created for a critic. Mm. So you can continue to do what you're doing by being the hater, but if you look at how your, your content is being portrayed, it isn't actually showing you in a good light anyway. So with regards to hate, we don't, we're not about that, and I was someone who previously used to hate on Herbalife, and at the time, it's because I was a closed-minded person. I wasn't personally developed, and I wasn't having an impact on a, 
an, an array of people. My, my PT business was very niche. I was helping only people with a very niche mindset who were very anal with what they were doing, who were willing to track calories and willing to train their asses off. But now I'm helping eight or nine times more people every single day from a, a opportunity that gets people having a healthier smoothie, which then could lead to healthier habits throughout their day, rather than just being battered once a week in a session where they might burn 500 calories. Instead, we're getting them in that deficit every single day, or we're getting them on track for their goals every single day through good habits and through a positive community, both offline and online, to get them thinking positively, to get them thinking differently, and just to get them living a better life. We're making the world healthier and happier, and that we, we want everyone to understand that what we're doing isn't a scam, and if you're hating on it, like we just want you to understand that what we're doing is the same as what you're trying to do in your own different way. Yeah, you know, so, I don't know if there will be many people who hate it if they're watching it, but the haters keep hating, we keep building. Join us, we keep building. It doesn't really matter. We are, we have goals. You know, Jack's got goals of going from 350 people helping to 10,000. We have goals. Now, Everybody should want to be part of something bigger than themselves. This is bigger than us. This is a, a global movement of people and the people who join now and the people who join and who are involved now will be the people that in five, ten years time, people will go back. Use with the guys who change that. Because it's not, as I say, it's not going to be the government. It's not going to be, the, they're not going to start paying people more money in jobs. They're not going to start coming. The NHS are not going to solve the, the health problems of this country. And people aren't going to start educating children at schools because there's too much pressure. School teachers have not got a clue. Nurses and school teachers are probably one of the unhealthiest and uneducated niches in society. So it needs to be people with a scientific-backed product and a network where education is done online and offline, what Jack's already said. So the guys who um, the guys who still are like on the fence, get the information. We've got tools to educate you. The tools are videos. The tools are success, success stories. The tools are facts. We've got facts on the products. We've got facts on the business. We've got facts on the company. We've got facts that the company, that the, the growth margin on where we're going, you want to be a part of it. You want to be a part of this because we are going. This is the time. There has never been a better time. If you think five years ago was the time, wrong. This is the time. Agree. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Oh, wow, yeah. The second best time to plant a tree was right now. <laughs> Aye, so so I, think, I think we'll end on that. It's been an awesome podcast and I think people who, who go back and listen to the first one and see the difference will be like, well, that's changed a little bit. But obviously, Kev, you just got more passionate in time. Generally, that's going to happen anyway, isn't it? Because you, your growth for the business and how you love it just grows every single day. That's a good point. I just want to reassure people on that. Look, Jack wasn't this passionate six months ago. Look, he, was, he started using the products in secret. I wasn't this passionate five and a half years ago. I couldn't talk about this like this five and a half years ago. This is a journey that we are on and all, all we're doing is becoming more passionate because of our understanding and education on where we're at. So I just want to reassure people, we're obviously live sitting on a sofa like Jonathan Ross, but um, <clears throat> it's through our passion, through the journey that we feel the need to educate we're here to educate. Awesome. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks for very much for tuning in, team. And if you have any questions, give us a shout and um, we'll find a way of getting back to you with your questions. Happy Tuesday. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.